Hi, Aries, the Aries clan, um, those of you who have Aries strongly in your charts, and anyone who's curious about Aries, let's go ahead and shuffle and see what's here uh, on the table for you. Aries, for the Aries people, for the Aries people. Whoa, big Columbia energy right in here. We have Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to just put that back on the deck and um, I'll just kind of start over here. That's just too big of an energy, too big of an energy to come out all at one time. There is people now. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just maybe too messy. There we go. All right, Aries, let's see what we have here. Woo! For the week of 8th through the 15th for Aries. Gosh. All right. Another big clumping of energy. Ten of Cups, Temperance, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Knight of Wands. I feel the Knight of Wands here. There's another climbing. There's that Ten of Cups again. Temperance, Page of Pentacles again. Uh, very interesting. High of Wands flipped over. One more, Aries. Ten of Swords. Oh, there's two. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. Felt like there was something a little bit magical there. And let's see what we can lay down on the table here for us. My Aries friends. Starting off with a Six of Swords. Four of Swords. Nine of Cups. And the King of Wands in the Horizontal. We're going to put him in the upright, but just so we know, like there could be a little bit here going on with the King of Wands. Next row, the sun coming in in a funny way. Queen of Cups in the upright. Judgment in the upright. We have the Two of Wands. And we, oh gosh, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords over the, over the top. Okay, we have a um, Aries. It's hard to put a time frame on a reading like this. So there could be some of you that are a little bit behind this energy, like you're still coming up into it. There's some of you that are going to be feeling this this week, and some of you have uh, moved forward just a little bit from this energy. I just feel like this is, is covering a little bit more of a, of a time range for this group. Um, some of you, Aries, are faster than others. Fire burns. Fire can burn at different temperatures, and it's going to kind of depend on how hot your temperature is, Aries. Um, what your what is in your natal charts, what the planets are doing right now, what the universe is doing, it's all going to kind of depend on that. Uh, but Aries, as you're coming into this week, I do feel like you're in a um, so, some sort of a strategy position. There, You are thinking very strategically. Uh, there's a choice here that you've been contemplating. Um, perhaps it's a choice in love. Perhaps it's a choice in work that you do. Uh, perhaps it's a choice in um, vacation that you take, 
right? It's it's uh, going to affect people, everyone here, in, in a slightly different way. But there is some sort of a decision that you're making here. Um, it's something that has a lot of potential and even the thought of it, even the in the thought of it, even the planning of it, even the um, frequency that you get when you connect into it is a beautiful thing to feel. Uh, but there it does take a little bit of planning here, some sort of strategy, some sort of decision making process that you're in about some plans that you're making. So um, when you get into this, can you feel that frequency that I'm in, like in my voice? It's it's in the left um, uh, in the left center left of the chest area. There's like a little enjoyment rumble in that area. Um, Six of Swords, it could be around travel. It could be around some kinds of plans that you're making um, for travel or something that you're doing that's going to help to bring enjoyment into your life. This could be organization. It could be some sort of a strategic management plan. It could be a vacation. It could be a trip to see uh, your family. Um, it could be vacation plan. Uh, uh, there's a lot of vacationing, like summer plans, making summer plans, um, preparing for something um, that really is going to be um, uh, the best. It's going to bring out the best in everyone. It's going to revive. It's, it's just some, it's beautiful. Whatever it is, it's something that um, you're in the process of deciding. Now, it doesn't have to be anything huge. It can be something smaller, um, but it brings that um, feeling to the soul. It brings that warmth to the soul. It could be something that, something small that you're deciding which to purchase, right? Uh, for me, it was um, a, a very nice heater that I purchased over the weekend, and it came, and it's like, my life is just so much warmer and cozier and it feels so good on my toesies, you know, and, and I know that sounds kind of silly, um, Aries, but that's the kind of energy that it's, it's in like fireplace going, uh, candles, some chocolates, um, they're your favorite wine. Um, there's just something here that just is so fun. Um, and, I do believe it, it's something that, see the two, two of wands, it connects into um, a certain way that is is meant for you to find the best part of yourself, Aries. Like a way to find the best part of yourself, a way to connect into the best part of you that connects you in to who you truly very authentically are in the most um, in the, in the most uh, connecting into the light, I would have to say, like sometimes we connect into the shadow, sometimes we connect into the light, and this is you connecting into the light, um, in, in a beautiful way. So Aries, I don't want to stay there too long, but I do feel like that is, uh, something here that you guys are all connecting into in your own specific way. Um, it is to connect into your heart center. It is helping to rejuvenate who you are. It helps you to put you in a good mood. It helps you to feel loving towards other people. It's just something, it's your cup of tea. It's your cup of medicine. Um, it's, it's to help you be, uh, free within yourself, free to be the best version of yourself. Um, and that's really the kind of space, um, Aries, I feel that you're in, uh, in this, um, coming week. And I'm in the dates of eight through the 15th here. So I know that's a midweek period of time, but I'm trying to keep the readings as current. Um, when I do them, I, I want to be in the current energy. That's why my weekly dates are changing as I move forward, um, because I want to stay very current in this. Uh, as you're moving now into the last part of the week, we have you embodying the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords over the top. So we have two tens here, and these two cards came out together. I feel like they are paired together. Um, this is really, uh, something that you're acknowledging has been, um, a difficult experience for you. I feel like this is really about holding, um, holding, 
yourself together, holding your family together, being there for one another, understanding the value of something greater around yourself, um, the castle that you live within, um, the moat that is around it. Like, wh what does it mean to you? How do you care for it? How do you protect it? Um, and it does talk about a, a difficult time in life. Um, that is really something that you have truly overcome now, Aries, something that you've truly overcome. And um, it's a deep energy. It goes down deep. It gets down deep in, into, into my energy fields for myself when I go into this energy. So I do feel like, Aries, this week is going to be, for this group of you, it's going to be a week when you are um, understanding the depth of who you are, but still enjoying um, a lightness in life. It is a, the pendulum that is... Um, swinging within you in a comfortable way on both sides or, or higher and lower is what I'm seeing. Like you have that anchor that you have a strong anchor within yourself deep in, in the bowels of who you are, that anchoring is there. And that anchoring that's there is because of what you have overcome. The depth of who you are um, consists of the decisions that you've made, the sacrifices that you've made, um, the logic that you've put into your, ra you know, the logic that you put into rational decisions and the understanding of everything that you have culminates into enjoyment of life. It's not just one aspect of life and, and, um, and that can do it. It's, it's the, it's the, all the columns, um, you know, they call them the pillars of life. Like those are all being worked on Aries with this group of you. And it just feels like, uh, there is a strong balance within you this week. And at the end of the week, there's something that's happening, something that, um, is, is something that you truly enjoy. I feel it's connecting into the masculine. Uh, the King of Wands was, uh, but that's your energy, but that's connecting into the masculine. Um, it's, it's giving you some sort of confidence now, Aries, to, to take action in a way that perhaps you haven't really had that confidence in a while. Um, I feel like you have, uh, um, with this judgment energy, like you have made changes, Aries, in your life that you're proud of that you can see uh, some really beautiful results coming in for yourself. The judgment energy is a hard energy and I never want to downplay the judgment energy because it, it talks about being able to see who you are in the good and who you are and in the bad and who you are and being able to reconcile those things and making those things fit together in a way that's ultimately better in life. So it's, it's really connecting in with the shadow, understanding the, sh the shadow, the wounds, the inner desires, the inner naughtiness, right? The inner desire for discovery or whatever is being suppressed within to understanding the, that suppression and being able to release the, those kinds of um, passion, excitement, um, uh, combustible energy in a way that brings in goodness and positivity. Um, but also it, it's something here that is very appealing to even the inner depths of who you are. So there's something here, even though this is a weekly reading, um, I, I just feel, you know, we haven't gone through the last couple of years without Oh, without deepening who we are. I mean, I feel like as the world people, we have it deepened within ourselves. And in many ways, the, the as the consciousness deepens, those individuals connected into the consciousness obviously are deepening. That's what's deepening the consciousness and bringing in shifting in the way that we feel the world around us. And you guys have been doing that in an individual way, addressing um, the hurts and wounds and dressing the, the reasons for and having hard conversations and making difficult changes and, and coming into places of abundance and um, fruitfulness and productivity and teamwork in a, in a beautiful way. And I think it's giving you uh, some confidence now, Aries, to step forward in your world, to step forward in your experiences and, and um, really in, in many ways taking that yang energy within you and trusting it, trusting in your decisions, trusting in your experiences, 
trusting in that which brings a liveliness and a jubilance to your soul, trusting in the decisions that you make are going to be good for not only your own personal self, but those in the world around you. That's when uh, that's when you're truly happy, Aries. So um, it's a beautiful week that you're going to experience. It comes with a lot of hard work and a lot of um, changes here and, and a lot of decisions that have been made um, for the betterment of the total good. And that is coming in as an individual pleasure, um, something that is ultimately giving you um, greater confidence in the actions and in the ways that you take action as you move into the into the future. So my friends, I am going to uh, leave this reading now and move into the extended reading. Um, but I'm hearing, let's go ahead and clarify a couple of these cards first before I do that. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to get the sticker cards out for the sun. I want to know like some, I just want to get some pictures, some other kinds of pictures. And I know these are stickers. It's because I'm not artistic. I'm a little bit of a mad scientist. I'm not really a scientist. I'm just mad. Ha, ha, ha. No, it's because I can't draw and I'm not very artistic. All my personal friends know this. Um, so I have stickers here, but these are images that spirit can connect in with. The universe can connect in with and, and give us some sort of ideas of what some of you Aries people might be looking at here as far as um, this fun that you're connecting in with. Ooh, there's just a lot. There's a lot here. I mean, it's the sun energy. So um, let's see if I can, we can get some summary or some like summary energy. Wow. The oh, vows. <laughs> wows. Okay, Jody. <laughs> The vows, wedding rings, to have and to hold, wedding memories, to have and to hold, vows. Relax. Me time. Lazy day. Relax. I heart naps. See, it can be just something small. Oh gosh, there's that bursting of energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna um, finish this deck and then we can go through all of these because I just there is a bursting out of energy here. Aries, you guys can do it. <laughs> if anybody can do it, you guys can do this kind of energy. There is some more. You guys can do this type of energy. Okay. Let's look at what we have here. Create your own path. Rome. The key. Coffee. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle, but first coffee. Peace and love, peace and love. Believe in yourself, bloom. Here's another one, but first coffee. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. All right, we're working with tone, energy and tone. Nope, stick to it. Can't even. Nope. Nope. So there's some sort of um, inner... Uh, why do we, I want to go into this energy. Why did this nope stick to it come up? That's a different one. Let's go ahead and look into this. I wonder if it's a part within that's like the anti anti-production. There's like sometimes within us we have a contrariness. Um, let me, let's see. I think there's a, like an inner contrariness is being open, overcome, like an inner bomb, an inner, inner destruction. Like some of us have that little, um, like I'm seeing, what's that game? I can't remember names, but there's a game where it's like a square and in the square is a bunch of little squares and there's little bombs everywhere, like 24 across and 24 down. I don't know. 
minor or something. I don't know. But some in all of us, we could have love, 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 and then we could have one or two little, those little bombs in us that kind of come in and explode whenever something nice is going to happen. It's like somebody, oh, let's drop one of the bombs. Um, I wonder, and, and some of us have that in our psyche. It's like an inner, it helps to guide us. It helps to stop us from doing things that are ultimately like bad for us. But sometimes that part of us can be overdone. It can be overly strong. Um, and that might be an element that you've been working to clear away to have cut something with a teammate, um, something with a teammate. You could have somebody saying you could be even be questioning yourself because the sun is in reverse here for some of you. You could be questioning what you want to do. Like, oh, I'm not sure if we should do that. I don't know because there's some sort of decision. Like, remember, we have a decision here that you're making and you could have a teammate saying or a partner or a lover saying, nope, let's stick to the plan. We said we're going to do it. Let's do it. Right. Could be something like that, too. So I don't want to. These picture cards are, are meant for you guys to kind of connect to in your own specific way, but we do have it connecting in with partnership um, and the lover's energy. These are two people now staying grounded and working together to fulfill destinies and fulfill goals and continue to keep the relationship strong and to stay in, in a, in a together in a way that's appealing for both. Ten of Wands. It comes after a period of of really learning how to release and bring in simplicity and ease in life. And and it could have been quite hard. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Ten of Swords here. So um, there's background stories here for sure. And for those of you that are returning now to YouTube, I want to thank you for being here. It is an honor to read for you, Aries. And I appreciate and I'm grateful for the opportunity to do so. So thank you very much. And I wish you a, a great week ahead. Thank you.